Hi, I'm James, and today on the desk we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3i or IdeaPad 3 14 IIL 05. And to start off with, we are going to remove the screws from the base of the laptop. Now, as always, uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to place them off to the side in the same positions that I removed them from. Uh, generally, on the Lenovo's, these are all the same size anyway. But if any are different, this just makes it a little bit easier when reassembling. And actually, these front four are shorter, which makes sense because uh, it tapers in here at the front. With those removed, we're then going to take our plastic pry tool. And what we want to do is just position this in so that we start to get between the base and the part of the chassis. I'm going to start here at the back. And basically we want to just push down and in to get between the two halves of the chassis. And just push in and gently work our way along releasing the base panel. So having done one side we will then do the other and with that done we should then be able to lift the panel and remove it like so. Once inside we can see that we have a replaceable battery, we have a bay here for a SATA SSD or hard drive but the connector for this is not included and therefore would have to be bought separately but we do have the, uh, the bracket for fitting it albeit without the screws and cable connector for that is here if you wanted to add that on but you would have to source that cable. We also have the 4 gigabytes of RAM soldered to the main board and a DIMM slot for an additional RAM module. Over here we have our Wi-Fi 6 card so not something that we'll be replacing today but something that can easily be upgraded and our M2 I believe this is a 2242 drive uh, here which also has the mounting point for the 2280. So our first step is going to be to disconnect them. If we take our pry tool we have a little tab on the connector and by gently pushing on that we can slide that out of place. To replace the battery this is simply a case of removing the I believe three screws that hold it in place. The battery is a L16M2PB2 type battery. With these three screws removed, we can then lift the battery out of place and to replace, simply slot it back in and refit the three screws. If you want to replace the flat fan or clean the edge of the heatsink, what we need to do first is to disconnect the two Wi-Fi antenna as we are going to have to unroute the cables for these. So we can press these down and then wind them out from the edge of the fan. We then have the fan held in place with three screws.
with those screws removed, we're now ready to unplug the fan connector here. This is going to be a bit obscured because we uh, we really need to push both sides at the same time. With that removed, we can then lift the fan out of place and this exposes the edge of the heatsink so we can give that a clean and replace the fan if required. To refit it we just need to slot back into place screw the fan back down Remember to refit the fan cable because there is nothing more frustrating than finishing the job and realising you didn't plug the fan back in. And then rerouting the cable for the Wi Fi antennas. following the original routing as best you can. before reconnecting the Wi-Fi antennas. To upgrade the memory, all we need to do is take our additional DDR4-3200 module and slot this in, pressing down to sort of slide it in and then press down so that it clicks into place. This is an 8GB module which takes the system up to a total of 12GB along with the 4 here. Um, I believe that at least 16GB modules are supported which would take you up to a total of 20. 32GB modules may work but this isn't something that I've tested and I don't think is officially supported. To upgrade our SSD we are going to peel back this little conductive pad and remove the M2 retentions screw. We will then peel the other end of the pad and gently slot out the SSD. Because we are fitting an M2 2280 drive we need to move this standoff so a 5mm socket here will unscrew that and then positioning it into the other standoff and screwing it down like so will allow us to mount our M2 2280. It's obviously important to make sure you move this standoff, you don't want to sort of be bending a replacement over the standoff in the wrong position and refitting the screw and that is ready to use. If we were to want to replace the Wi-Fi card this is a simple task of unscrewing the screw here and clipping off the two antennas. Just like the SSD this will then pop up and we can remove the card. To refit we then just need to slot it back in screw down and the fiddly bit of reattaching the two antenna cables.
finish up now, we're just going to transfer the thermal pad from the old SSD onto the replacement, reconnect our battery, and take our base panel. With that back in place, we can then press down around the edges, re-engaging the clips for the base panel. And then all that is left to do is refit the screws into their original positions. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions on the work done here or on anything else on this laptop, do just ask them in the comments below. You will also find in the description uh, links to Amazon listings for the parts and tools used here. If you would like to see more of these videos as I do them, please hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.